Never look at a sea turtle's mouth. Never oh, look at yeah. its mouth? Why? Oh inside? my god, the inside of a sea turtle's mouth is a nightmare scape. How is that different from a normal frog? Yeah, right? Yeah. What's a water frog? <laughs> How do you bone in the yeah. ocean? <laughs> okay. If you're an otter. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, somebody here is a liar, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this episode of I Should Have Known, the trivia game show that can't be trusted. Each week, one of our quiz masters will present you with four facts about a topic, but one of those facts is a lie. And we are exploring the animal kingdom this month. Our quiz master today is Tanner. Hi. And Tanner is going to be doing an episode on four more endangered animals. He recently did an episode on endangered animals, and so we have four more today. So he will tell us four facts about these animals, but one of these facts is not true. So join me, Andy, and our other host, Soups, in figuring out which one of his facts is a lie. All right. So, PQQ. Yeah. Are you familiar with the endangered species list? Um, I I know it by heart. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, right. Yeah. It's the IUCN, right? Yeah, it is. The IUCN Red List is Mm -hmm. what's called the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. So they decide whether an animal is officially endangered or not. Do you know the different levels of endangerment? Oh, yeah. yeah. There are like six. Yeah. So there's least concern. Yes. So that means there's a lot of these. Right. Yeah. And then there's vulnerable. Well, before that is NT. NT. NT is near, near threatened, threatened. Yeah. vulnerable, mm-hmm. endangered, yeah. Extinct. Yes. Extinct. Before extinct, there's critically, critically endangered. endangered, and then, and then extinct, extinct in the wild, wild. Yeah. and then, and then extinct. extinct. Yes, oh, you got them so all. So smart. Nice. So, guys, I think we're we really too smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I know. I know. We're just geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> we know. I think s- that is pretty impressive. <laughs> I think. I, I, sure. We know so much about so many, <laughs> so many things. Random- <laughs> so today we're talking about the ones that are in the endangered column. Okay. Right. Okay. Which is like thousands and thousands of species. Right. Okay, cool. All, All right, right, let's go. Fact number one. Sea otters can live their whole lives in the ocean. They never come on land? They don't have to. It's a choice. Yes. <laughs> They're making <laughs> that choice. It's like today I decide to go on land. <laughs> okay. So sea otters or Anhydra lutris, they're a marine mammal. Like we talked about polar bears. They're another marine mammal. Mm-hmm. But sea otters are kind of weird. You think of marine mammals as having a lot of blubber, right? Mm. Whales, seals. Sea otters don't, but they can live in the ocean. They have fur. Because of their fur. Mm -hmm. So they have the densest fur in the animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because of this, they don't have to get out of the water. They can be born, grow up, mate. Oh, Give see, birth. I was going to say, I was like, when well, I'm pretty skeptical already just hearing it because how do you bone in the yeah. ocean? <laughs> okay. If you're an otter. Yeah. How do you do that? Let's listen to Explain Tanner's it. creativity. When an otter couple really loves each other. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Remember that time when you made up an animal mating? Yeah. Oh, my God. Please go listen to that episode again. It is very, <laughs> very entertaining. Tanner made up animal mating ritual. I did. Uh, we're not going to get into otter mating today. No? Okay. No. Very anthropomorphic, you know, and how they act. So they are always on the surface eating because they'll go down and get their food and they'll bring mm-hmm. it back to the surface and they'll eat it, usually laying on their back, cracking shells open on their bellies. Yeah. And they wrap themselves in kelp so they don't float away or they hold hands. Right. So they don't float away and they all stay together in a raft. Okay. So, but the fact is that they don't need to come to the land. They They don't need to go on land. Mm. They can. Their legs work just fine. (laughs) (laughs) They they do. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I guess, Mm -hmm. like, yeah, if they hold hands while they sleep, they must be able to sleep in the water. I'm having a hard time figuring out how they could possibly, like, give birth and reproduce in the water. Because they're floating, right? It's not like they go down underwater or do they? No, they dive down to get food and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. But, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, if this is a lie, there's going to be some situation that, like, we could figure out. Where it'd be, mm-hmm. like, how would you possibly do that in the water? Mm-hmm. So that's what, I like, I'm trying to think of. If there's some kind of, like, what's something that a sea otter would have to do where it would have to be on land? Yeah. I don't know. So what's the main attraction for them to come to land? Like, something Like, why a, would they want yeah, to be yeah. on land? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Food, I would assume. Food, yeah. And boning, because mm. it's super hard to bone in mm. water. 
And they really just give birth to like little otters mm. and the otters don't drown, you know? Boop. It just comes out. That and seems that's weird it. to me. Like, yeah. I, I would imagine that they'd have like a den where they'd like have their little babies and then when they're big enough and they have fur, then they can go out in the water. <laughs> Do they yep, have never, fur as yeah. babies? Yeah, as pups. Yeah. Like they come out of the womb with fur. Yeah. And they're good to go. They just know how to swim by default, the pups. Well, yeah, that's kind of a function of their fur. So it's so dense that they float easily. Mm. So they don't really have to yeah. learn how to swim. But it helps that their fur is so dense that they can float. And their mother, at least, is right there. So hop on if you want. They just ride on their moms. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god i love it and they're endangered yes yeah. yes this is the sad part is that they are endangered because they're in such a specific range where do they live they live in the north pacific so mm-hmm. from california up to alaska and over across the aleutian isles mm-hmm. mm. So it's mostly humans causing the problem. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> and then, of course, they live in the water, so we're really bad about keeping our water clean. So they're right. you know at danger of all that pollution, yeah. oil and everything. spills, and stuff. Exactly makes sense. Okay. okay, sure. We'll put a pin in it. Let's hear some more endangered animals. All right. Fact number two: Sea turtles cannot pull their head and limbs into their shells. Okay. So you think of a turtle, mm-hmm. they pull their head into their shell, right? right? Mm-hmm. Sea turtles can't do that. Their head is always sticking out. Their legs are always sticking out. They have like fins for legs. Yeah, they're always in the water, right? Mm-hmm. So th- yeah. they do more swimming than walking. So their yeah. legs are more Yeah, so fin-like. how would you pull that Finish. in? Finish. Fin-like. <laughs> yeah. I was like, finish? Fin-ish. Finish sea turtles? <laughs> finish. I don't think so, no. Sis. <laughs> okay, I mean... I feel like I could imagine a pulling its head into its shell, but I also don't think I've seen that. No. And I can neither. imagine why they can't. Why? Because they're like, they've developed to be different and bigger than like... The land ones? The terrestrial mm-hmm. ones. Yeah. yeah. It's a function of living in the water. Mm. So they need to move faster than your stereotypical slow-moving turtle. And they need to move through the water. They need to be hydrodynamic. So in comparison to their land cousin turtles and tortoises... Their shells are more streamlined. Mm -hmm. They're not dome shaped. Mm. So there's actually less area and volume Uh, inside. They're flatter. There's no space to pull their head in. Okay. Like they physically probably could, but they can't put it anywhere. Mm. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. So they can swim better. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. Also, side note, never look at a sea turtle's mouth. Never oh, look at yeah. its mouth. Why? Inside? Oh my God. The inside Why? of a sea turtle's mouth is a nightmare scape. That could be in our horror, like Halloween episode. What's happening inside its so mouth? So they have like, they don't have teeth, right? Mm-hmm. They have like these barbs on their tongues. They're like sharp barbs that are pointed like back towards mm-hmm. the back of their throat because they eat like jellyfish and stuff. So like it prevents them from coming out. Mm. Yeah. If the jellyfish goes against, it gets caught in the barb, so yeah. it can't get back out. There's like a bunch of hooks. Yeah. They There's... eat like sponges and jellyfish mm-hmm. and stuff that's hard to hold on to. Yeah. It's horrifying. Oh, it's crazy. Absolutely yeah. horrifying. Specifically, the hawksbill turtle mm-hmm. is one of the most endangered. There's very few of those left. It's in like the thousands. There's only thousand around the world? Yeah. Ho- oh, wow. Hawksbill turtles, yeah. It's not very many. And there's only like seven species of sea turtles. And according to IUCN, they are endangered? Yes, they're endangered. They're endangered. Sure. Mm. I mean, retracting their limbs, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I mean, his logic makes sense because it's if the shell is kind of flat, then yeah. you can't. Yeah, right. The... If you look at one, you can kind of be like, yeah, how yeah, would okay. it pull its fins into its right. body? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Tell me more. All right. Fact number three. Giant panda bears are not actually bears. Giant panda bears are not bears. Then what are they? They are in the weasel family, just like the red panda. I don't think so. Explain yourself. So what separates panda bears from bears is a strange evolutionary adaptation. If you look at a panda, whether it's a red panda or a giant panda, you will see that it has five digits on its paw. Mm -hmm. And then what looks like a little stubby extra digit. And so this is called a modified sesamoid digit. Or a false thumb. Okay. (laughs) And (laughs) the two animals that have this are the red panda and the giant panda. And it's specifically, scientists think, it's specifically evolved to hold bamboo. These two species, 99% of their diet is bamboo. Right. They're just chomping on bamboo all the time. Mm. 
And so this places them in the weasel family with red pandas and not in the bear family. Hmm. I find this so hard to believe. Like, they look exactly like bears. Yeah. They're just not bears. They're false bears. That's right. Liars. <laughs> well, somebody here is a liar, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but why aren't they bears? By definition, bears don't have this evolutionary extra digit. Only okay. animals in the weasel family. Mm. I mean, I guess it is kind of weird that they are entirely herbivores, pretty much. Yeah. Whereas, like, most bears are omnivorous or mm -hmm. we know they eat meat. meat. So, like, yeah. I guess I never thought about why pandas don't eat meat. Yeah. But I don't know. That's sketchy to me. And why yeah. do we we, just, we call them bears because they look like bears, but they're not actually, like, they're pandas. Right. The correct term for them is giant panda. Mm. They're, like, the dumbest animal. Yes. Like there's probably from just eating bamboo all the time. So, so chill. I feel like they're stoned all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like they've, they've taken yeah. like they a joy. Yeah. 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 They're such goofy, fun to watch animals. Sometimes you're like, nature clearly doesn't want this animal around anymore. Yeah. Like why we we as humans try so hard to keep them alive. Yeah. And it's like they don't want to be alive. <laughs> they're like they refuse to like have sex. They like squish their babies like do you want to live, pandas? But we love them. They're so cute. Yeah. They're big, fluffy weasels. Mm -hmm. You're expecting me to believe that. That's right. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Mm. Okay, let's hear our fourth fact. All right. Fact number four. The Lake Titicaca water frog can live its entire life underwater. Did you just look up a list of animals that, like, live in water <laughs> and then pandas? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it just it's happened all, that way. It's like the same facts. Like, oh. You just changed the name of the animal. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, first of all, Lake Titicaca water, water frog. frog. How is that different from a normal frog? Yeah, right? Yeah. What's a water frog? Because <laughs> it can live its entire life in water. And it's, like, breathing through its skin? Yeah. Some people call it the scrotum frog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Totally. Yeah. They look like the scrotum? Sure, yeah. Okay. So amphibians I'm have... I'm going to Google this now. <laughs> amphibians have very porous skin, and they can absorb certain things through their skin, right? right? And specifically, frogs can absorb oxygen through their skin. The Lake Titicaca water frog has very, very loose, billowy, or wrinkly skin. Like to a scrotum. Like a scrotum. To increase its surface size. And so it breathes with just its skin. Its lungs are basically not even there anymore. Wow. And has so much skin that it can live its entire life underwater. And never go into the air. So it's like that's a right. fish. Yeah. It's basically a fish. It's basically a fish. So that's weird because, you know, I feel like in school we learn, you know, like amphibians spend their life cycle in the water and on land. Mm -hmm. But then this thing is like, nah, what you learn in elementary school is wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to be underwater all the time. Yeah. I don't know if I want to see a photo of this thing. How big is it? Pretty big. Oh, There's some no. of the bigger Define. frogs. Oh, my. Give me the numbers. God. They can weigh up to two pounds, which is like. Which is almost a kilo. kilo. That's uh, a lot for a frog. Reach up to 20 inches. Oh, my, oh my God. God. It was like 50 centimeters. Yeah. 50.8 centimeters oh, yeah, in so length. Good. I'm so good. Yes. Well done. That is is horrifying. Yeah. Uh, Lake Titicaca just dropped on my list of places <laughs> to go. I don't want to see ball sack frog. No. I mean, I have no reason to not believe this one. Yeah. It's much more believable than the otter one. Right. Also, nobody wants this frog on the land. I don't want to see a scrotum <laughs> frog on the land. Stay underwater. <laughs> <laughs> and they are endangered. Yes. Because they're so big, sometimes they're captured for food oh. and they're an aphrodisiac. Because oh, they look like a ball sack. Because they look like a scrotum. Yeah, naturally. Okay. Well, now I know of a creature that I didn't know existed. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Yeah. I don't know if I am better for it. <laughs> but wow, those are some really interesting watery facts about some endangered creatures. But before we guess, can you please repeat your four facts? Then Soups and I will try to figure out your lie. Sure. Fact number one, sea otters can live their whole lives in the ocean. Fact number two, sea turtles cannot pull their head and limbs into their shells. Fact number three, giant panda bears are not actually bears. And fact number four, the Lake Titicaca water frog can live its entire life underwater. 
One of those is not true. Okay. What are you thinking? I think the scrotum one, Lake Titicaca, water frog, sounds like a legit thing that you can be underwater, you can be breathing through your skin. <laughs> yeah, you're sure. An, you're an amphibian, you've been designed to do that, but I refuse to believe that a mammal, like I know you have the option, but you will come to the land. Like right? you, know, you like, have to come to the land. Yeah, there must be something they have yeah. to do on the land. It's super weird. But for me, mm-hmm. there's no way. Pandas are definitely bears. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. I, okay. I don't know. There is kind of the weird thing of like red pandas and giant pandas don't really look like one another. And the name would suggest that, you know, if it's a giant panda, there must be a regular sized panda. Mm-hmm. You have to compare it to something else. So that like fits. But I just find that so hard to believe that they're not bears. Right. So, but like, yeah. That's those, a very valid Those point. two, like the otters, but I'm more skeptical of the panda. Okay. I'm with you. I agree. I think these are the two ones that stand out the most. Yeah. I'm going to still stick with a number one. The otters. Yeah. Okay. So you think it's sea otters and you think it's pandas. pandas. Or bears. Okay. You're a liar. Well, I am a liar. <laughs> one of those is not true. And one of you guessed it correctly. Sea otters, don't look up how they mate. It's violent. and Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. But is it on land or in the water? It's in the water. Okay. You so, just Googled how they mate uh, and you're, like, horrified? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. You need gravity. Yeah. It doesn't work. It does work. It's just a bloody affair. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Huh. Wow. Okay. So giant pandas are bears. They are bears. Red pandas are, are in the weasel family. Yeah. So the only things that they have in common are their names, mm-hmm. their habitat, their diet, and this weird extra finger thing. So they both have that and it's weird. Yes. Because they both eat bamboo. Or at least that's what scientists think. Mm. Okay. But they're bears. Yeah. Giant pandas are strictly bears. Yes. I thought they were bears. Yes. Mm. You, when you were trying to tell me that it's a big fluffy weasel, I was like, I don't <laughs> and, believe uh, that. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, mm. I should have known. I should have known. Thanks for listening to this episode of I Should Have Known. We'll be continuing with our animal theme next week. I will be your quiz master, and I'll be presenting you with an extra special episode on animal penises. So get ready for that. And as always, <laughs> and you're getting straws up your nose.